Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Varis. Welcome you all in healthcare with Dr. Varis. Today's topic which I have chosen for you as uh, myocardial infarction, uh, very commonly known as uh, heart attack. What, are, what is heart attack? Before going to this uh, procedure and uh, about this uh, uh, disease, uh, I want to express to you that uh, this is the right of uh, um, our own body that we must know about uh, the five things of uh, that how much my cholesterol is remaining, how is my BP, what is my sugar level and uh, is there any hepatitis B or C to me. And these are silent killers uh, when we will not be, uh, be known about these they will suddenly collapse that uh, patient. And that uh, heart attack which uh, ca- uh, in circadian periodicity is that uh, the time of onset usually remains from 6 a.m. to 12 noon uh, early in the morning because these are associated with the uh, rise and uh, uh, catecholamine and cortisol levels uh, and uh, the increase in platelet aggregatability also in, in that period. Uh, or it may be possible that uh, immobility during uh, the sleep may cause aggregation of the platelets and thrombus formation which uh, the emboli uh, go to the uh, coronary arteries and may make it block and got that part of the heart uh, necrosed which we called an infarction. What are the signs and symptoms uh, patient feels? Uh, is retroesternal pain and uh, pain, patient uh, usually um, uh, keep uh, has a fist on the sternum as a clench fist uh, and uh, he appears uh, with a uh, profuse uh, cold perspiration, perspiration cold uh, sweatings and retroesternal pain and pain may refer to the jaw and throat and but this pain uh, in elderly patients and diabetic patient uh, which are already uh, hypertensive and they, they cannot notice uh, that much like pain but they uh, feel uh, dyspnea and on exertion and uh, um, profuse sweating on that and feel marked weakness and, uh, and disability and also they, they are noted. Uh, the risk factors and who are at risk the in adults uh, males this is 45 years age and women at the 55 year age and whose blood pressure raised uh, which remains uh, obese uh, and who uh, do their leg uh, less exercises and which remains uh, in stress and whose uh, um, uh, cholesterol level increased their uh, triglyceride level increased uh, and those LDL increased uh, and they, these are at the risk of the heart attack. Heart attack uh, means uh, I have previously told you that this is uh, necessary uh, for our coronary arteries to receive the blood. When there is a thrombus or clot uh, comes and this contact uh, then uh, the uh, supply uh, abruptly uh, decreased and that part of tissue make one becomes necrosed and uh, this causes the, all the symptoms which I uh, previously told you. And so these are the signs and symptoms uh, regarding that uh, disease. When we examine that patient, uh, uh, he looks very anxious, uh, restless uh, and in distress and uh, clenches his fist on the sternum and he has a cold perspiration and his uh, pulse may become increased or decreased. In these patients, uh, temperature also increases because of the infarction when tissues become necrosed, uh, so temperature also increases. Now we come on the uh, investigations, uh, then we will proceed to, to do her, uh, or his uh, ECG and then ECG we find the ST segment elevations uh, and the cardiac enzymes uh, when we are drop T and drop I will appear and that blood uh, within two, two to four hours uh, and which when persist in, in elevated uh, drop I for seven to ten days 
and then drop D uh, for 10 to uh, 14 days uh, to remain in the blood of that patient. Now we come on the treatment. All the patients suspected uh, to have myocardial infarction or heart attack should be confined strictly bed rest and mobilized to hospital and especially in, in the CCU, current coronary care unit. Uh, their, and their activity uh, at the, should be completely um, bed ridden and uh, the complete bed rest uh, for at least uh, 12 hours initially and then nothing by mouth uh, uh, for first 12 hours and after five days you can mobilize that patient for 500 to 600 feet per uh, day for three times a day and when uh, it is uh, bedside uh, test is uh, trough T are now available and uh, specific therapy when uh, we will use is the includes uh, nitrates, uh, aspirin, beta blockers, uh, uh, AC inhibitors, uh, thrombolytic drugs, uh, streptokinase. This is a little bit of information regarding the heart attack and uh, if you have any query or comments uh, please write in the comment box and uh, till the next my video uh, take care of you Allah Hafiz.